Good evening, I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Uh, today is January the 28th. Uh, please follow through me clearly and directly for the intended collective, the energy and information needed, and protect it from outside influences and low vibrational entities that seek to confuse and distort the divine messages. Please allow the intended listeners to extract what's needed to put them on their highest path for their highest good. Allow me to channel the right words uh, with clarity so that we can provide insight and guidance. Amen and Amen Ra. Uh, if you uh, feel inspired to donate, uh, I use Cash App and PayPal is in the description link. Uh, anything other than that, uh, that would not be me. If someone reaches out to you and makes a request for a donation, that's absolutely not me. Okay, so with that, uh, let's get started today. All right, we've got a uh, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Ooh, betrayal. <laughs> Reversed. Ten of Swords. Stuck. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go with this. Let me just arrange these cards, and we can go ahead and get started. All right, so we got a King of Swords here. You know... Uh, can be someone that is uh, straight to the point, someone that uses a lot of logic. It can be a man or a woman. Uh, try not to pay too much attention to the sign if the message resonates with you. Uh, the energy uh, is fluid. So this can be you doing this to someone or this can be someone possibly doing this to you in this reading. Okay, Clarify the King of Swords, please. King of Swords is someone that is... Um, um, it can be an older person, a father uh, figure uh, that is uh, very uh, serious minded, um, very calculating. Um, they can be very straight to the point. They don't you they're not a very emotional person. They're a person that, you know, usually makes decisions out of using logic. It can also represent someone that uh, has very strong, firm boundaries as well. Oh, and it can be a man or a woman, of course. It can also represent a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius because swords are air signs. Represents communication. So let's go. Clarify the King of Swords, please. Okay. Clarify the King of Swords, please. Clarify the King of Swords. Okay. All right, so we got the Five of Cups reversed. We got the Three of Wands upright. Clarify the King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords, please. Okay. Someone uh, might be in a, a, a deep depression about something, possibly, because they're expecting, hmm, they might be expecting some bad news, or they might be expecting a bad reaction uh, to something. Clarify the King of Swords, please. Please clarify the King of Swords. Okay. They might be uh, concerned about a judgment with regard to some type of a situation. Clarify the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please. Please clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Now this could be a Leo. Uh, or this could be someone that could be abusing power or may have abused power in the past. Okay, we've got the Wheel of Karma here, uh, and then we have the Two of Wands, uh, which is the Two of Wands uh, rep could represent someone that is uh, working on themselves. Um, and then we have the Eight of Swords, uh, which could represent someone that feels... Uh, stuck in their head or they they feel like they're bound right now like their hands are tied 
uh, like their back is against the wall. They're between a rock and a hard place. Hmm, interesting. Uh, clarify uh, the Six of Swords, please. Please clarify the Six of Swords. Okay. And we got the Hierophant. Hmm. <laughs> Someone could be uh, thinking of moving away to avoid going to court or to avoid a legal situation, possibly. Clarify that Six of Swords uh, due to possibly some information that could be coming in uh, about some lies, some misinformation, possibly, or lies. i uh, clarify that Six of Swords, please. Please clarify the Six of Swords. Give me two more cards to clarify the Six of Swords. Oh, okay, so we have an emperor reverse. There could be someone possibly in uh, distorted masculine energy at this particular time. Hmm. It could be an Aries or someone in distorted uh, because we have the emperor reversed. We have the high priestess reversed. It could represent someone that does magic, someone that needs to use intuition that's not using their intuition, or it could represent uh, possibly a high priestess, uh, someone that does divination, but they might do it uh you know, um, in a low vibration. And they, they could be trying to avoid a disaster right now with this tower reversed. Um, and we've got the hermit card here. So someone um, uh, could be um, in intro in an introspective state in isolation at this particular time. Uh, please clarify for me. Uh, let's see. Uh, this ten of swords reversed. Clarify the ten of swords reversed. Clarify the ten of swords reversed, please. Clarify the Ten of Swords reverse. Thank you. Yeah, we got some type of a betrayal here. Someone's worried about a betrayal. Someone could be trying to go away uh, with that Six of Swords to calmer waters to avoid uh, the law enforcement or court. And they're trying to get to uh, a safe place due to some type of betrayal hmm. and some type of burden that they possibly may want to release. Clarify the Ten of Swords reverse. Clarify that Ten of Swords reverse, please. Please clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Okay, this could have been collaboration with another person, possibly, uh, that uh, has fallen apart. Uh, someone that they might have come together with to build wealth or to uh, live with, uh, combine, you know, uh, you know, to combine lifestyles together. Um, we got the star card here. Uh, could represent also uh, an Aquarius possibly, or someone, you know, um, that is a star possibly, a rising star. Clarify the 10 of swords reversed. Give me one more card for the 10 of swords. Okay. Okay, I say one more card, I get about eight. <laughs> Okay, okay. This betrayal could have done, could have been done to uh, someone possibly from the past. Very interesting. Uh, it looks like a rising star. Uh, this could be for a rising star that someone might have committed the ultimate betrayal to. Hmm. Interesting. Ultimate betrayal, and. It could be someone they already know, most likely, uh, with that Six of Cups there, um, someone they already know, and maybe they were, um, hmm, interesting, uh, maybe they were, now they're trying uh, to um, not get recognition. Recogni uh, um, clarify that Six of Wands reverse. Okay, that could be a Pisces. This can be a man or a woman. It could be a rep it can represent either a Pisces, a man or a woman, or it can also uh, represent. Interesting. It can also uh, represent someone that is very emotionally mature, uh, someone that is very psychic and intuitive. You know, someone that uh, gets a lot of intuitive nudges that are usually right. You know, they can pick up on things um, without having concrete evidence in front of them. They're sensitive to energies. 
and they often are able to um, find things out and guide their pathway by going on their intuitive uh, nudges. They're tuned in. They're tuned in. Hmm. Clarify, uh, let's see here. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify this Queen of Okay, this Queen of Pentacles uh, looks like someone uh, that uh, could be someone that works very hard. You know, uh, they provide for themselves. They're very independent. They're a worker. Uh, whether they own their own business, whether they're starting their own business, uh, it's an independent person uh, that makes money in their career and they pay their bills on time. They take care of things. You know, this is a responsible person that takes care of uh, their household. And they may either be a Libra, they could either be a Libra, or they could be an Empress. Okay, that's what came out here. Hmm, interesting. So let's go. All right, so let's dove into this a little bit. Okay, so what we have here, uh, this is a Libra... Gemini or an Aquarius that is deeply hurt and deeply in deep despair right now and the reason they're in deep despair is because with this three of wands right here uh, they were expecting you know uh, to cause uh, possibly an empress uh, whether uh, this is uh, a Libra or uh, a high priestess uh, because the High Priestess card came out as well, um, which is the Pisces card, but the Empress is the Libra. Uh, but it can be any High Priestess or any man or woman that is in the Emperor or Empress status, um, ma meaning you're a highly ranked person with a lot of life experience that use those experience now um, to operate, help others with a lot of wisdom and intuition. Okay, uh, you have a lot of life experience um, at being, you know, uh, in all of the different types of energies. Okay, so this is a, a, a very high uh, ranked person that some air sign waged war on. Okay, some air sign waged war on them um, and they were hoping... And now they're very defensive against everyone. Uh, possibly people might be coming against this air sign now. Uh, and they're trying to uh, avoid a judgment. You know, they waged war on an empress or a high priestess uh, on their whole lifestyle. Uh, because this empress and high priestess uh, worked extremely hard uh, to get into her nine of pentacles. Uh, which is she probably I feel like this is someone that owns her own home you know she has a vehicle uh, she has nice things in her life you know uh, she's at a place in her life where she's comfortable she's not stressed out anymore about paying the bills uh, things tend uh, you know she's in calmer waters in her life right now you know things have settled out where um, in the past, while this person was waging a silent war against them, um, while this person was waging war against this empress, uh, she might have been going through a really rough period that she uh, that they thought they would never recover from. You know, they could have uh, been hopping from job to job. The finances wasn't adding up. Uh, this could be a person that could have been struggling uh, to pay the bills. Uh, might have had children or a child you know, um, uh, might have been in a state of lack uh, and basically like being thrown in an ocean, constantly uh, trying to fend for their lives, you know, uh, nickel and then diming it. But now this person has made it to a place in their life where they are very, com they're living very comfortably now. They're not stressed about anything and they're relaxed, you know. Uh, they don't have, and they're healed. There's someone that uh, has gone through some trials and tribulations. They're healed. They don't have anyone bad around them. No bad energy. No bad energetic connections. Uh, 
the war that was waged by this air sign, uh, what I got was there was an Aries, okay? There is an Aries uh, that practices divination with this high priestess uh, reversed here. Uh, and Aries uh, was paid by an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, uh, to wage war against uh, this empress or high priestess um, uh, finances uh, against her uh, against her energetically uh, wage war against her spiritually to keep her not only in a physical state of lack but to keep her in a mental state of lack and unsurety and not knowing and to be able to keep her isolated and alone by herself but uh, during this period and who knows I mean this empress could have uh, had this happen to them possibly uh, because they might have been paying karma for possibly something they may have done in the past or even past lives you know remember to become the emperor or the empress uh, oftentimes you know you have to go through trials and tribulation which actually include uh, you uh, paying for your past deeds as well so uh, I believe uh, during a period when this empress might have been either going through their karma uh, or going through their trials and tribulations, what they did was uh, a lot of power may have been abused with the strength card reversed, but um, they worked on themselves. During a period when they may have possibly been going through karma with the Wheel of Fortune here, I believe this person uh, was working on themselves doing their shadow work you know I believe that uh, they were uh, overcoming whatever they were conflicted about in their past whatever was going on with them energetically spiritually you know uh, I believe this person had to uh, walk through their dark night of the soul and face their demons so I believe whoever is in this nine of Pentacles right now they they worked on themselves they worked on themselves and became the empress uh, while this war was being waged against them by an air sign, uh, by an air sign and a fire sign, an Aries, uh, that practices divination. Now, now that this empress is healed and in a good place, what I have here is someone's trying to get away with the six of swords here. Somebody is trying to move on, sail on to calmer waters. Someone's trying to get away from some trouble, okay? Somebody's trying to escape away from some legal troubles. Uh, now, I don't know. This could be, uh, with the Hierophant card here, some legal troubles that could be on the way due to something that was done because of spell work, possibly, or something that might have been done illegal, Ill illegally. Because uh, this Strength card reverse here, uh, is an abuse of power. So whoever that Gemini, uh, Libra, or Aquarius is, they might have had access uh, to resources. Uh, say it's someone that possibly mm, works for the phone company or works for a government agency like the NSA or FBI, CIA, police department. You know, someone that has access to information. Uh, they're in the military. You know, someone that has clearance and access to people's information. Um, I believe that they might have uh, done something that was an abuse of power. Uh, and um, it could have been something on the internet possibly uh, to do a smear campaign because the Knight of Swords reverse here came out. So they could have uh, been abusing their power. They may have had um, to uh, do a smear campaign. They could have been making fake accounts online. Uh, they could have uh, been, um, you know, making uh, up lies about this person, uh, fraudulent things, uh, trying to smear this person's record. You know, whatever it was that they did, you know, this person is in fear and trying to get away from it because it could have some possible uh, legal uh, ramifications here. Okay? So they're trying to get away here. So they were waging war on uh, empress or high priestess, uh, one uh, spiritual warfare uh, from uh, uh, an airy spiritual practitioner here, okay? 
that practices uh, divination, okay? And they were also, uh, the air sign is the one that was abusing power uh, because they had access to someone's information or they had access and clearance because they either know someone in the military or know someone or have friends or are in a circle where they have access to information uh, and they were hacking uh, this person's social media, getting information about them and doing a smear campaign and just, you know, really trying to cause this person a lot of pain. Now, um, let's see. Now, these people are trying to uh, escape the law somehow um, and avoid a tower, okay? So they're avoiding a tower by withdrawing whatever tactics they were using and they're in hermit mode now. So they're... So basically, their getaway might not be them physically going anywhere that six, with that Six of Swords. It could just be that they withdrew whatever they were doing and now they're in hermit mode hiding, okay, uh, hoping that nothing gets discovered. So they did uh, a lot of, like I said, backstabbing and betrayal here to this Empress uh, to cause them a lot of burdens, to cause them to... Uh, lose finances and opportunities. Hmm, this keeps coming out, this same story. And this could have been someone that uh, might have been on their way to becoming a star or it could represent an Aquarius. But it could uh, be someone that might be on their way to becoming a star. That might be their destiny. And they uh, might have already achieved that had these people not thrown all these roadblocks in their way. Not saying that they still won't be able to achieve it, but I, I, I feel like they wanted to at least, if they couldn't stop it altogether, slow it down. So um, whatever war they waged on them, you know, uh, it caused them for a period of time, it could have been for some years, caused them to be in a ten of pentacles, caused them uh, to have false people in their lives you know, that they uh, wasted time with that could have really took them through a ringer. You know, uh, they could have abused communication. They could have abused uh, information on the internet uh, to ruin their relationships possibly, which could have also caused setbacks in this person's life. Yeah, yeah, that could have thrown them off their path too. Uh, but if that person, if they were with someone and uh, due to a smear campaign and lies, uh, in, uh, on the internet and through social media it caused uh, relationships set back and threw their life off balance uh, that's okay too because that person was never meant to be with them that must have been more lessons as well because everything does happen for a reason even when you're attacked by uh, people acting out of a low vibration it's going to still work out for your good and it's for a reason uh, if someone waged war on a high priestess or an empress and um, someone that you had in your life left your life because you relied on or um, uh, there was a smear campaign against you and the person believed it you know and it caused trouble between the two of you that's just a testimony to that person's character they're of a weak character um, and if the person uh, did not stand up for you uh, or at least investigate and just allowed whatever information came out about you uh, to affect uh, their relationship with you uh, without in further investigating to make sure it was correct, that person should not be in your life because that person has a very weak character and if it wasn't that, uh, something else would have gone wrong later. Remember, uh, when before God blesses you, before you become the star and all the things come in your life, all the things that are low vibrational and karmic have to burn away and get away from you so that when you get your blessing, that blessing will be uh, just for you, you know, um, and not someone that is undeserving, you know, that will take advantage uh, of what you have that should have never truly been with you in the first place. So now, um, let's see, who's trying to... Uh, make an offer to someone from the past here uh, with the Six of Cups. Who's trying to make an offer to someone from the past? Who's trying to make an offer to someone from the past, please? Okay, 
So this is a King of Cups reversed, okay, or King of Cups. It came out twice. You see we have the King of Cups upright right here, so it's probably upright. Uh, so we have the King of Cups that came out twice. That's who's trying to, oh, okay, okay, I see it. So we have two Kings of Cups here in two different decks. So this King of Cups is actually, it could be a Pisces or just someone that is fair, someone that is just, an older, mature person that is very intuitive, uh, relies on their intuition. Their intuition is usually right uh, because, you know, they're in tune with energy and their emotions um, and they're able to read people very well. So I feel like they could have been backstabbed and betrayed by the air sign, possibly, um, and they could have caused uh, burdens uh, either with this person and maybe a king of cups or maybe this king of cups is somebody new coming in it could be a pisces or any other sign actually um but if this is someone from the past this could be the person that they might have caused the, you to break up with actually now that i think about it it could be someone um you know um with it with water in their chart possibly sun moon or rising um Venus or Tropic, but um, let's see. Clarify the uh, six of clarify the six of wands reverse. Oh, jumped right out my lap. <laughs> oh, okay. I believe this is judgment, or is this the devil? Mm. Someone, yeah, this could be someone from your past that did not recognize you before. That, that didn't give you the recognition that you deserved. This could be someone from your past that did not give you the recognition that you deserve um, because of the smear campaign. And now this person might be trying to come back. Now this person might be trying to come back possibly uh, to extend either some lightheartedness uh, with you, uh, whether it's an apology or maybe even to see if they could reconcile, see if they could reconcile with you. Now I wonder, hmm, I'm wondering because I just did a reading the other day, you know, about uh, an Aries and a Cancer uh, that waged war you know, on a high priestess. And then that Aries uh, actually, spiritual practitioner, uh, while they were waging war uh, on this person, uh, they actually, uh, their feelings changed midway and they fell in love with that person. And they were trying to um, find a way to turn the tables. So I'm wondering if this is that Aries showing up now as a king of cups. Uh, trying to come back into the picture, um, trying to come back into the picture to make an offer uh, to the person that they initially started out waging war against. Clarify this King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups. This keeps coming out though. Hmm. This is somebody that does things for money. This is an opportunist, whoever it is. This person is an opportunist. Even if they did have a change of heart, even if they, they're stubborn, they're still very stubborn. You know, they have two sides. Whoever this is, I believe they still have two sides to them. Okay. Even if they have fallen in love with the person they were paid to wage war against, uh, and they have feelings for them now. It's probably, they're probably with the emperor reversed here, very low vibrational, uh, probably narcissistic. So narcissists are capable uh, of having strong emotions for people as well, you know, and uh, having their heart opened in some instances, you know, and even if this person does, they're still an opportunist. You know, they might be seeing this person in another light but they also looking to benefit from this person, possibly financially. Uh, and even if they are trying to show up uh, as a king of cups here, 
I believe this is the same person. Yeah. This is like a continuation from the reading I did the other day. You know, the spiritual practitioner, Aries, um, while they were trying to wage war on a high priestess, they came into contact with pure energy and pure love. And that might be something that they've never experienced before. And it put them in an energy of wanting to be the king of cups. So they're, in, in tu they're still an intuitive person, uh, but they still have a lot of low vibrational ways about them and patterns that have not been broken, you know. But it did put them in another mindset about this person. But they're still also an opportunist that would do low vibrational things for money. Unfortunately, it's a double-edged sword. And most likely, uh, the high priestess and empress already are aware of everything that was done to them and was in their life to teach them a lesson. And at this point would never, you know, uh, reconcile with them or even take them back because the lesson is already over. It's too late. But I have, the, I have a feeling here that this person is wanting to come back and make an offer now um, to... And to whoever this uh, high priestess or empress is because she is possibly maybe she's starting her own business maybe she's making a lot of progress right now as the queen of pentacles and she's doing very well for herself she's very fruitful you know right now she's in her uh, nine of pentacle she's living well right now and living comfortable I, I feel like whoever this Aries is they uh, possibly uh, might be still stalking or um, they could be driving by whoever this high priestess home is, checking on them, you know, uh, spying on them and still wanting to uh, go back and see if they're, see if they're unhealed, see if they're still open to them or see if they can find a way to uh, squeeze their way back in. Okay, please continue this reading. Give me some more cards. Give me some more cards. This is very simple, plain, cut, straight to the point reading. Okay, so uh, I have the three of pentacles here, uh, which indicates someone could possibly be working with others still. Oh, okay. So I did say that this uh, Aries that practices divination, spiritual practitioner, uh, is showing up now as the king of cups. So they are trying to actually come back in now. They're trying to come back in to make an offer uh, to the person that they waged war on for money. They waged war on this person for money. They were never expecting to fall in love with the person that they waged war on, though. So they also now could actually be showing up as the king of cups but that might, uh -huh, that's why this is right here looking me right in the face. This is looking me right in the face, sitting right here. It's not real. They're trying to show themselves in a different type of energy. They're going to show up, High Priestess, they're going to show up to you in a different energy. They're going to show up to you uh, as a King of Cups, as a changed person. They're going to show up. Uh, as someone that's more emotionally mature, emotionally available, to try to uh, reel you back in, okay, uh, with an offer. You know, they're going to, like narcissists do, uh, with a sweet and mean cycle, they do everything that you wanted them to do before, only they do it better, you know, in order to, everything you've always asked them to do that they wouldn't before, they're going to do it now, um, and everything that you wanted them to say before, they're going to say it now, you know, uh, to kind of try to woo you, you know, back in. They're going to come in under the pretense that they see the light, you know, and they see the error of their ways and they're in love with you. And they may be in love with you. But remember, this is a sick, demented person. This is a very sick, demented. Narcissists are very sick and demented. So, you know, they can love you and try to kill you at the same time, okay? Okay which we know is not real love, of course. It's not real love. <laughs> it's a sickness. But uh, this is the energy that this person is really in, okay? Uh, and they're an opportunist. You know, they, whoever this man or woman is, you know, uh, you know, they're just an opportunist. They're, you know, they're a hoe. 
their hope for money. Whatever they have to do for money, it doesn't matter, they'll do. You know, they, they're they spiritual. If they got to uh, do magic on somebody uh, to try to do a death spell to hurt them, uh, if they have to try to steal from someone, whatever they have to do, you know, they'll do what they got to do for money. You know, look at his face. That This is exactly who the spiritual practitioner is because they're of a low vibration, you know. And it looks like they could possibly still be working with others. So they are still working with others. Okay, give me a few more cards to end this reading. Atten, the sun reverse. They're working with others to reverse all of the progress, the joy, and the fulfillment of your life that you currently have. Your finances, you know, your spirituality, you know, your energy, your vibration, you know, everything about you right now is beautiful. Look at you. Look at you. Everything about you is beautiful. You know, your living situation is beautiful right now and comfortable. You know, your money is good. You don't even have to be rich, but you're comfortable. You're not struggling for food. You eat what you want to eat. You know, your bills are paid. You know, you can go shopping if you'd like. But I feel like this is a very frugal, uh, I feel like this is a very frugal empress or high priestess that knows how to manage her finances well, which is why she's showing up as the queen of pentacles here, okay? And they want to reverse all the sun in your life. So, so... It looks like they might still possibly be working with that um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius uh, to try to show up in your life as being, uh, you know, a new person. But in actuality, they're going to be on a sweet cycle. And as soon as they get back into your energetic field, they're going to switch on to that mean uh, narcissistic cycle. If you're interested in learning about um, uh, the sweet and mean cycle in narcissism, Go ahead and um, look it up on YouTube. Type in narcissist sweet and mean cycle. You know, it might open you up and give you clarity to a situation possibly going on in your own life if this reading doesn't resonate with you. And open your eyes uh, to some more narcissistic tactics that uh, you may not be aware of or you may be already. Okay, give me a few cards to end this reading. Seven of scepters, okay, which is the seven of wands. <laughs> oh, really? Sekhmet, the strength card reversed, and the six of swords reversed. Now, in the beginning of this reading, you know, this person was in hermit mode, see? This is the Six of Swords upright. You see the Six of Swords upright right here? It's the same card in this deck, the Six of Swords reversed. Um, and the Six of Swords reversed. This person was first going away, you know, um, into hermit mode to try to avoid trouble with the law, with the Hierophant here. To try to avoid trouble with the law uh, because of something that they might have been doing. Uh, for all I know, this person could have put recording devices in your home. They could have put camera, uh, recorder in different rooms in your home to record you. You know, they could have done a, a lot of really uh, low down, dirty, nasty things um, that are illegal that you will go to prison for. So uh, they were trying to avoid a tower. So they were in hermit mode for a while. But it looks like they've recouped now, and they're going to come in, uh, you know, for a second try. So it looks like they're no longer moving away, okay? So they're going to come back toward you uh, to try to see if they can abuse the power that they think they have, the perceived power. And they're hoping that you will have, uh, with the seven of wands here, they're hoping that you will have your, um, your guards down, see? You've got the Seven of Wands that came out in this reading earlier as well. They're hoping that you're going to have your guards down, you know, uh, to them when they uh, come back in and present themselves as being the King of Cups. You know, a new loving person that has seen the light, 
um, and they're changed. Their heart is open to you now. You know, they, they made, uh, they went away from you. You know, um, I believe this might be a spiritual practitioner that was sent in to date you uh, on a type of a gang stalking tip possibly um, and to possibly destroy you, as I said, to destroy your way of life, to destroy the sun in your life, you know, which would embody every aspect of your living and your being, okay, all of your joy and happiness, your finances, your emotional state, your spiritual state. You know, they were, they were coming in to try to take that away from you and rob you of it. Uh, and the reason is because this, I believe this air sign might have gotten information. And, and the only thing I can think of is possibly, you know, um, they might have gotten readings on you and knew that you were going to become the star. Or they saw whoever this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is, they could see a lot of potential in you and they could see you making progress in your life and they wanted to stop you. So whoever this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is, uh, High Priestess, they know you. This could be someone in your family. Uh, this could be a friend. Uh, this could just be a friend of a friend, a friend of the family. But whoever it is, it's someone that's very jealous of you that backstabbed and betrayed you. And that caused and caused you a lot of burdens in the past, and you might not have known this, but you know uh, they were trying to stop you from becoming the star. And I said before, it doesn't mean you're going to be a star like Michael Jackson and recognized worldwide. worldwide. Although it could mean that as well. Uh, you could be the star in your community, the star in your family. You could be uh, just the star everywhere you go because you embody and carry an energy that everyone uh, tries to emulate and copy. You understand? Uh, when we go into the star card here, uh, it makes me think of the reason why clothing designers, uh, cosmetic makers, shoemakers, the reason they get stars to wear their products and wear their clothing is because stars are people that embody energy that the masses, uh, which would be like people with the sheep mentality, all see uh, energetically as someone to follow and to imitate. So if you embody a certain type of star quality energy, uh, then you have the power to influence people and a lot of people uh, will uh, emulate and copy off of you or uh, look at you in a certain type of way or look to you for guidance. That's why so many people look up to stars, movie stars and people in TV because of the energy they embody. Uh, people are so impressed with their energy and seduced by it that they're willing to buy clothing just because they see that star wearing it. You know, they're willing to eat something because they know that particular star, this basketball star, this is what they eat, so I'm going to eat it too. You know, stars embody a certain type of uh, star quality energy that the average everyday person uh, may not embody that type of energy and they may want to copy or emulate that em energy. So if you're a person of star quality that a lot of people look up to, follow, or just admire because of an energy that you embody, I believe I explained that correctly, um, then they saw that light in you. They saw that star quality in you and they wanted to stop it. And that's why, you know, uh, they have been taking these drastic measures uh, to stop you, you know, to send people in your direction, to pay uh, uh, people to gang stalk you, to pay people to date you, uh, you know, uh, through gang stalking, just to stay in your life, to cause you confusion, to gaslight you, to keep you off of your square, okay? Uh, to keep, your, keep you down energetically so you would not be that rising star. So my advice to you, High Priestess uh, Empress, uh, is to avoid both of these people, if you know who they are, like the plague. Whoever this air sign is, Avoid them like the plague, you know, block them, do not contact them, do not let them contact you, you know, don't let them text you, uh, don't let them have any energetic cords connected to you because they're going to try to find a way to sabotage you. Uh, this person, I, I'm getting psychopath vibes and 
whoever this Aries, the distorted Aries is, um, do not make any contact with them. Do not allow them to contact you through text message if they show up at your house. I would suggest that you text one time, leave or I will call the police. <laughs> Uh, if this person uh, sends you something in the mail, whatever social media, block them completely. Do not even open the door to go back and forth with this person to give them an opportunity to open up their mouth and try to woo you or try to uh, tell you any type of a lie or convince you of anything. Just, just you know, um, move forward in your life. You have a lot of great things. You, you, you've you gone through your dark night of the soul, your karma, you've healed, you've been bound, you know, and things are looking really good in your life right now. Things are looking very good for you in your life. And I promise all those things are going to be replaced for you. You, you know, if you did not, uh, if you're not close to your blood family, because uh, they are or represent that air sign uh, that is jealous, then you will be replaced with a new family, believe it or not. Um, you will be replaced with new friends if your past ones backstabbed and betrayed you out of jealousy. You will uh, be replaced with a new relationship uh, that's high vibrational because if you're the empress and the high priestess, that means you now have boundaries and you uh, now are not ignoring your intuition anymore, but you're very sharp. You know what they're going to do before they do it. You know what they will say before they say it. And you also know how to turn from the Queen of Cups into the Queen of Swords on them. Which means, you know, you know when to be the Queen of Cups, open and loving. But you also know how to turn into the Queen of Swords and block and put up your boundaries uh, toward a person the minute you, the minute you smell something that's not right. Okay, so with that, uh, I am Kuan Yin. And this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Have a lovely evening.